Hey guys, so I'm here with uh, Eric. Yeah, we're about to get some hibachi food right now for lunch. Here we go. <laughs> That's so crazy. Oh. Nice. Top dollar, Carl. Pardon me? Top dollar. Top dollar? Yeah. Top pay, yeah. Yeah. I wish I could do it. <laughs> Enough for survive. Yeah. Alright, guys, I'm gonna make an onion volcano. That is so cool. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think you got a crowd over there yeah. looking over there. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, since uh, Newport News is a pretty small town, that's true. I, yeah. I found a lot of people like in the mall, and they recognize it. Oh, really? Yeah, so you're like, like a celebrity? Yeah, you're like a celebrity. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. That's more for you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, I'm about to catch some shrimp in my mouth. Here we go. Are you ready? Yep, ready. Right. <laughs> Watch the shrimp. Here we go. Alright. Two, three. Oh! Uh, almost, almost. Ready? Right. One, two, three. Yeah, my oh, there we go. How about you, sir? Would you like to try? No. How about with chicken? No. <laughs> okay. We got uh, car problems. Yeah, car problems are fun. So, I'm trying to figure out what happened. And uh, this is my car. I lost that uh, car. Well, it used to be my sister's car, but I guess it's not going to be my mom. But we're sitting here. Uh, I don't know what happened. I think the alternator died. So, uh, this is a pretty old car. It's a, uh, I think it's an old three equipped. I'm not too sure. But uh, that's my friend Faraz right here. My brother's over there, but he doesn't want to be on camera. But I'm not going to show him. My mom is gone right now, so because she was like burning up in the, in the hot um, sun. What do you want to say? I planned this all out. Oh, really? Yeah, because uh, I've always wanted to be on one of your vlogs. Oh wow! So yeah. this this is all your uh, master plan here. You're yeah. the mastermind behind all this. Mm -hmm. Good job. Great. Now we're in the stranded. We're stranded in the middle of nowhere, and cars are almost gonna hit us. Like this car over here. It's, it's a scary world out here. It's a very, very scary world out here. Are you, uh, are you hitchhiking? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't think that's gonna work. Not gonna work. People are, people think you're crazy. People think you're a crazy one. Don't do it. Car problems suck, but uh, it happens. That's life. Too much work? 
didn't work out too well? Yeah, I figured. Because people people don't want to, you know, invite a stranger into their car, so um, they don't want to get like stabbed in the face. We got help coming on the way. Yay, help is coming. Help is coming. Oh wait, no. You're going the wrong way. No. No, I need the ambulance. Fire truck this way. No. No, not you too. Come back. I know. Work. Work, damn you. Ow, my foot. No lie, that really did hurt. That's actually really, really hurting my foot right now. I actually like, hit the rim. I should have hit the tire, but uh, I was trying to be funny and uh, it didn't work out. See, now, uh, now I'm a bad influence. <laughs> what did the car do to you? So while we wait here, I'm going to give you guys a little lesson on cars. Right there, that's where you put your Mountain Dew. Right here is where the, the air goes so uh, you can uh, get air conditioned. That's how we uh, create the air conditioning in the car because the air goes through here and um, yeah, it's kind of like a little tunnel. It just goes through and you get full air. That's where you put oil, um, any type of oil, preferably uh, vegetable oil. That goes in there. That right there is your ugly stick, just in case uh, if ugly people try to chase you, you can beat them with it. All you have to do is just take it out. That's kind of hot. Take it out and uh, beat them with it. And this right here is the engine. People actually mistake this to being the engine, but this is actually the engine right here. This is a really small engine. This is not the engine, guys. This is just uh, some something. I don't know what it does. This right here is where you can put your like your Mountain Dew Baja Blast or just like blue pixie dust. So that's a little education session with me and cars. So I hope you guys learned something from this lesson. Okay, so I'm about to do something really, really, really stupid here. So unfortunately, that was a really bad idea because now my camera is destroyed. So that sucks. Uh, God damn, why did I do that? That's like the worst idea I've ever had in my life. Good job, Rahat. Yep. Now I'm going to figure out a way to uh, get that memory card out of there. Oh crap, that's so bad. Why did I even... Ah, rest in peace, camera. Unfortunately, that car did a number on it. Holy crap. That's so bad. I don't know if I can even like turn it off or on. Yep, that camera's dead. I need a new camera anyway. Fortunately, I actually got the memory card out of it. I'm really hopeful that the camera actually caught the car like running over the camera. And if you guys are wondering how I'm recording the vlogs right now, well, I'm actually filming with my iPhone right now. So uh, this is gonna have to do for now. So unfortunately, my camera that died didn't really capture anything with the car running it over. So unfortunately, it didn't really, I guess, uh, read onto that memory card. So I just wasted a camera for no reason at all. I kind of needed a new camera anyways, so it was just, it was time. And I think I had that camera for about, I think three or four years now. So it was just um, that the shutter wasn't working. Sometimes it would have turned on. So I needed a new camera. This is the camera that I have. It is the, what is that, the Canon PowerShot, what is that, EL, I cannot read anything in this mirror, ELPH, I believe, 340HS. So this is a really good camera. I'm actually liking this a lot. I am not going to let a car run over this camera, trust me. That's the last time I do that because, unfortunately, I thought it would have been a really cool shot, but no, that car, he didn't want to have any fun, so he just went, ran it over. People just don't have fun these days, you know. See a camera on the road and they just say, oh, let's run it over. <laughs> but that's what I get for my stupidity. So a lot of you are asking, where is the sleeping video? I'm still editing the video. It's a really, really big video and I'm trying to like speed it up and everything. But uh, within the video, something kind of weird happened. So I've been really kind of quiet about it. I didn't really say too much, but I didn't want to really assume anything, but I'm going to show you guys. It really isn't much, and um, for some of you, the sleeping video is going to be probably boring. What I'm probably going to do is put it within a vlog. But just to recap, something does happen in the sleeping video. Again, it's nothing crazy. It's just like something, just something odd. But it's pretty typical with my house. A lot of weird things happen in my house. Like there's times where I'll just like hear random voices in here, and I'm not going crazy. Don't Don't think that... Um, I'm going crazy or hearing voices in my head. And one other thing, I'm thinking about doing a new series on this second channel. And I'm still thinking of a title for the series, but it might be called like Pranks Half-Baked 
or something like that. But it's basically just like pranks where I tried to go out and film the prank, but it didn't really go the way I wanted to. Um, either the reactions weren't there or just the idea wasn't really good enough. People are just blowing up my phone right now. But it's something I've been thinking about doing for a while. I have a lot of ideas. Only like 40% of those pranks work out and like 60% just, it just doesn't work out. So what I might do is just kind of show you guys those like fails and everything and just like these really weird ideas and hopefully you guys can enjoy it. But just to keep in mind, these are very short videos too because I've filmed like two or three or even four reactions. So this is not really, you know, a solid video. Again, the title is Pranks Half-Baked. So th these are just half-baked ideas. Let me know down in the comments, do you guys want to see this like Pranks Half-Baked series on this channel? Let me know down in the comments. But enough of me blabbering on, let's get to some Twitter shout outs. All right, first one comes from at JS7457YouTube. A shout out please, I'm 15, I'm French. I watch all your videos slash vlogs. You're freaking amazing. I would like to meet you one day. Well, I would love to meet you too. There is your shout out. Next one comes from at Eric Per 93115337. You know, you should really give me a shout out in the vlog someday. And if you don't, I will send Barney to come and haunt you forever. Thanks. And last one comes from Ina Sutherland, I think. Bay. Can I please get a shout out on your vlog? I love them. Well, thank you. I am glad you love them. Bay. Bay, bay, bay. So that is it for Twitter shout outs. Other than that, I'm going to end today's vlog right here. I got a lot of editing to do. You guys be safe, be well, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. See you guys later. Guys, what I'm about to tell you. you you really scared the bejesus out of a couple people. Yeah. Okay. It, it can borderline. I know you're trying to do the video and stuff.